Okay, so I've got this um, double pumper, what do they call it? The pumper, pumper Max. Works pretty good. And I'm thinking about mounting it under the car, really. I'll just cut that off. I'm going to do something with that. But yeah, there's enough room here, just here to put it. And I, and I thought I'd uh, make a box, you know, and then, then I thought, oh, got this, it's an old welder, yeah, I've, I've had to cut a bit out of it, but that'll go, it'll go like that. <laughs> Fit. Gotta make up some brackets too. Gonna bolt it onto there. Bit of angle, I think. I've made this bracket. Oh, it's just a bit of angle. Oh, it's pretty much painted. <coughs> Hey. I think the box might have twisted more when it just wasn't bolted in. But I've got it, I think. See the box. Yeah, so that's in. There you go, put on some watches. Thick wire with it. This, um, it runs on. Uh, it runs on uh, 90 amps. Hope you can see that. Um, anyway, and I've got I drill a hole in the back, and I've got some stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take it into the cab. Gonna, it's not enough cord to go into the cab, but I mean, there's enough to go in the cab, but not to go to the battery. So I've got some of this, and and I bought some more lead. Uh, oh, here it is. And I've got that joiner. It's meant for a house, but I think that'll be right. I'll put that inside the cab. Should be plenty. And this wire was um, 100 ampere. 
all I get, get is a hundred amp hour fuse and some terminals. <laughs> oh, well, I've got it all in. Um, yeah. And the wires go up there and out there and through there and into the cab. I, I could have run it along the chassis, but the only thing is I had to join it. I just got this joiner thing. Can you see that? Yeah. I joined it there. Got plenty of cut lead. I haven't sort of put that out of way yet, but it goes under the carpet. There's still some there. But it's better it's better to have too much than not enough. And then I thought, oh well you've got to have a fuse too, so I was having a look at 100 amp hour fuses and you can get fuse holders and then the, the fuse but then I I thought I'd um and then I saw this one. I'll try and turn the camera around and uh, Yeah, it's just a like a breaker thing. Um that's got the power from there. <laughs> so yeah. We'll see if it works. I mean, uh, I know it works. But got an on off switch on the front. But, uh, I'll get the lead and see if it, see if it reaches. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to spend much money, but I ended up spending um, I had to buy some more lead. That was 50 bucks. Um, I had to buy the breaker, that was another 50 bucks, so there's a hundred. And I and I bought this catch. Um, it already had it had a different sort of one that was broken anyway. Um, and I had to make it make the hole a bit longer. Um, but yeah, that was 20 bucks. So but it's pretty solid. And it's well ventilated, doesn't have to be waterproof, but I don't think not much water would get in there anyway. But yeah, so I've got that six bolts holding it there, and there's four um, M8 bolts holding them, holding it there, and, and there's these plates. I don't know if you can see that. So it doesn't pull, pull through. I couldn't put it right across because of that, because of this brace. And then up in there, it's bolted to this this channel here. So it's not going anywhere. All right, that'll conclude the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.